My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the owner of Screen Surgeons, a laptop computer replacement business in Tucson, Arizona. And today we're going to replace a cracked screen on an HP G72 261 US laptop computer. Now, the screen, it's a bit more difficult to replace the screen on this computer because you have to take this top cover off to get to these screws down here that release the screen cover. Okay, the first thing we have to do is flip the computer over. And what I did already was remove the battery and remove the covers for the hard drive and the cover for the memory. There is about 20 or so screws to remove and if you look at where the scotch tape is on the computer, that's where I remove the screws and secure them with the scotch tape. So pause it right here and look where I removed the screws and removed, remove the screws yourself. So that's the first step. The next step is to take the computer back over and to remove the keyboard. Now for the keyboard it's a little bit tricky because you have to go into a corner with some sharp scissors or something like that and lift up the co corner of the keyboard just like this. I will put the key back in later. It pops back in. You remove it like this and then there's a connector. You flip up the little bar on the connector right here and take the keyboard out. Now so that you know that we'll put the key in. We'll, we'll click the key in again and it's perfect. So on top of the keyboard or behind the keyboard there's one more screw that you have to remove it's right here. You remove this screw and then you have to release two more connectors. Actually three more connectors here and here you lift up the little bars and there's another connector here. You lift up the bar here and you use tweezers to remove these connectors. Remove this connector also. And it looks like there's another one that we have to remove. That looks like it's for the speakers. We remove that one over here. And next we use either guitar tool or some sort of prying tool to pry the top cover off. So you go around the edges, go like this. I already released some of the tabs so it's a little bit easier for me. Go around the edges and slowly pry it off. I'm almost there. Okay, looks like on the bottom there's one more screw that I didn't get to. Possibly down here somewhere. So I'm guessing it's this one. Yep, I didn't get to this screw, so I forgot to release one more screw. Okay, I did that. Flip it back over and take this whole cover off. So now you see the computer. Next thing we have to do is remove the screen assembly from and the motherboard assembly from the bottom assembly. To do that, you have screws here that hold the hinges in place. 
you take these out. Let's see if we can zoom in here. I hope there's enough light. There's just two screws that hold the hinge assembly. You do the same thing for the right hand side. Take this one out. And we remove the video connector. Gotta see if it lifts up. This one lifts up, so we pop it up like this. And we take this cable out. I'm not sure what it does, but it's connected to the screen. So we'll take it out also. And this one, I believe, pulls out like this. Okay, next thing we do is lift up the screen assembly. Now you'll notice there's still some wires connected to it. We have to be careful with those. We're not going to disconnect them all the way. We're going to rest the screen assembly like so on top here. Okay, so here's the two screws that were not accessible before we took the screen assembly out. So we'll remove the little plastic cover that covers them. You use an X-Acto blade for that. Once you remove it, you see the screws underneath. We remove this one too. We'll pop it off like this. And then we start removing this screw. There's one, and there's the second screw right here. We remove this one. Okay, and next we pop off the frame that covers the screen. Usually there's some adhesive on it that adheres to the screen. So we do it very carefully so as not to damage the frame. If you do break it, that's okay. The computer will still work. You just have a little crack line. No big deal. So we go very carefully. Go around the edges. And pop it open. Usually on the bottom, there's a lot of adhesive. So take your time. Take your time and pop the side open and almost there and it comes off. Okay, now you see the screen assembly. What I like to do at this point makes my job a lot easier is put the laptop back in and secure it with maybe two screws. It makes it a lot easier to remove the screen itself. So we screw this one back in. And we screw this one back in over here. Okay, so next we have to take the two screws out on top. So we want access to the little screws that are on the side of the screen over here that will release the screen from the frame. So we take this one out like this. Okay, next we just loosen these screws at the bottom so I can bend the screen forward to access 
the screws on the side. Go like this. And go like this. Just loosen them a few turns. Just enough for you to bend the screen forward. So you bend it forward like this. Maybe loosen it up some more. Loosen this up some more. Like so. Possibly loosen this one up. And this one. Okay, now the screen bends forward enough. Now if you look, there's two silver screws on each side. So we take those out. One. And two. Like so. We spin it around. Do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And the same with this one over here. Like this. And next we tilt the screen forward. And you see there is just one connector. It's a LED screen, 17.3 inch WXGA plus LED screen. We loosen the tape up. And we remove the connector. And now the screen is off. So this is the old crack screen. We're going to put this to the side. And we're going to grab a new screen over here that matches it. And we're going to put it back in. So to put it back in, you reverse the procedure and you're done. And that's it.